So in this video, I'll be taking you through the setup process of your Samsung Galaxy A36. So the first step is to simply switch on the phone. So locate the power button and press on it until you see the Samsung logo appearing on your screen. If you've continued pressing and the logo still hasn't appeared, then I would recommend charging your phone so that once it's connected to a power source, whenever you try pressing on the power button, the phone will come on. This is because sometimes the phone doesn't have enough charge for you to do whatever it is that you want. So just by plugging it in, it will solve that issue. So let's just wait for it to come on. And from here you can see you've been brought to the welcome screen so now it's time to start setting it up the first step is to choose the language so here it is the default language so if i just tap on it and then i can scroll through the list of languages available and choose my preferred option once you've selected your language just tap on ok to save the changes then tap on start to continue the process of setting up your phone so from here you'll need to agree to the end user license agreement as well as the privacy policy you can also have the option of agreeing to the sending of diagnostic data, but that's optional, so it's up to you to decide if you want to or not. But once you have agreed to these two main options, just tap on Agree to move to the next step. So from here, you can choose to either transfer data from another phone, whether it's Galaxy or Android, or even an iPhone or an iPad, or you can just choose to set it up manually. So depending on which choice you make, you'll be given instructions on what to do in order for you to transfer the data between the two devices. But for me, I'll choose to set up manually. Then from here, you'll be prompted to choose a Wi-Fi network. So wait for it to detect any networks nearby, and then choose your specific network and enter in the password, and then tap on connect. Then from here, once you're connected to the network, tap on next. So the next step is to just restart your device so that you can now set up your service provider. So just tap on restart and wait for your phone to restart. So as you can see here, it's telling me to either choose to scan a QR code or search for any mobile plans that are available. So what you want to do is either choose any of these options if you want to set up your service provider, or you can choose to later set it up later in settings. It's completely up to you. So I'll choose to set up later in settings. Then the next step is to either choose to copy apps and data from another phone or to just skip this process. So if you want to copy, just tap on next and follow the instructions you're given. If you want to skip this step, just select don't copy and you'll be taken to the next step. So from here, you'll be prompted to sign in with your Google account details. So just enter in your email or phone number as well as the relevant details or you can choose to tap on skip and then confirm that you wish to skip. Bear in mind that this will not allow you access to any Google services such as the Play Store. So if you're sure you want to skip, you can always come and do that later by adding it in the settings app. So just tap on skip 
And then from here, you'll be prompted to protect your phone using either biometrics or a screen lock type. Again, you can choose to do this now or you can choose to skip and do that later. Then from here, you'll need to agree to Google services, such as allowing Google services to use lo location, allow scanning, phone number verification, all sorts of things. So if you're okay with all of this, just tap on accept. And then from here, you'll be prompted to sign into your Samsung account. So you can choose to enter in your details using your email or phone number or signing in with a QR code. If you don't have an account, just select forgot password or don't have an account. And then you'll be prompted to create an account. If you've forgotten any of your details, you have these two options to help guide you through the process of recovering your account. If you don't want to do this now, you can always just tap on set up later in settings and skip this process and do it later when you now need to use the Samsung account on your phone. Bear in mind that this will stop you from using anything such as find your phone, tracking your exercises and all sorts of things. So again, if you're still fine with that, just tap on skip and move to the next step. Then you need to agree to the terms and conditions of the Samsung legal service information. Any other options are optional, so you can choose to agree or disagree, it's completely up to you. But once you've agreed to the terms and conditions, you want to scroll down and tap on agree and move to the next step. So then you have these Samsung services and it's up to you to decide if you want them turned off or turned on. You can read through the basic information about each service to make your choice. Then when you're happy, you can just tap on agree to move to the next step. From here, choose your display mode, whether it's light mode or dark mode. And then once you've chosen your mode, tap on next. Then from here, you'll be prompted to install recommended apps. If you're okay with this, just tap on next. And then tap on home to finish the setup. So you'll be prompted to install other apps so just tap on later and you can choose to exit the app setup and do that later then from here you'll be redirected to your brand new a36 home screen so this is how it looks like you can see there's a difference in navigation and all sorts of things thank you for watching stick around for more videos on the samsung galaxy a36 if you have any questions or comments about the setup process leave them down below and we'll get back to you